Jesus. My sister is so small. Smallest driver's seat I've ever seen. My knees were literally on the driving wheel, man. That is crazy. Yes, I did come into the car, place the camera before actually coming into the car to drive away. I know, it's sad. Don't judge me. Well, what's going on, YouTube? Flancer here today, and today is going to be an interesting one. I'm going to be heading to New York with my father in about an hour, hour 30. He's at my uh, aunt's house. His sister's cutting some grass right now. Then we are going there to go see his entire side of the family, which do live in New York. My mom's side is all over here in New Jersey, which I have seen already. Today is also my last day in New Jersey. So because of that, I've also realized that I haven't done something I always tweet about when I'm in Chicago with Bose, and that is get a big bagel from New Jersey, a Taylor ham and egg bagel. Now, usually people do put cheese on them, but I'm not going to put cheese. I'm just, you know, you know me. I'm only eating cheese if it's on some pizza, you know what I'm saying? And then at some point after that, at 2 o'clock Eastern Time, 1 o'clock Central, 11 a.m. Pacific Time, the first summer qualifier does start. It is going to be the best two of each pool to advance. We have a pretty easy pool today. I won't be able to join the Skype call or any of that just because I am going to be seeing the family like I did say and I want to be able to see them knowing that I'm just focusing on seeing them because I won't be seeing them for a while. But I have a lot of faith in the boys. I'm, I'm going to say right now before even the entire series starts besides the uh, line tournament starts today is that we will be advancing and we will be going to the Summerland next week in Burbank, California hosted by ESL. So, super excited. We actually scrimmed EG last night, and we did a really good job. We, uh, I believe the series was 6-5, or, no, I, I'm mistaken. I think it was 9-5, their favor, um, EG. So, to see that, you know, improvement already, that was, I believe, their third scrim ever. They took a day off on uh, the day Drake did drop his album, The Views, because everyone's been waiting for that for, like, two years. So, I mean, can't complain um, for them taking a day off and doing that well against EG. Super, super impressed. So, we're going to go get that bagel. I'm going to show you guys that in a bit. Then we are heading off to New York. And then you guys will see me watching the boys on my, uh, on my phone and supporting them. And just basically taking notes and uh, giving some suggestions on what they can do to improve. And on the way to the bagel shop, passing my old high school right here. Well, my only high school. I don't know why I said old high school, but yeah, I guess it is old. There it is, that tiny little building. I believe my senior class only had 131 students. Everyone and their sweet mother knew everyone. It was crazy. Boom! I don't know too many things I could say or compliment New Jersey on, but this is definitely one of them right here. They're Taylor ham and egg bagel sandwiches. What'd you get there, sister? Are you, Wait, are, there's are no, you balling right there? Huh? Just huh? Don't huh? stop. Huh? 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 Wait, there's no bacon. And there's mom. no bacon in yours? There should be bacon. This is EWC. Well, they screwed up, see? The only thing I could say good about New Jersey is that they got my bagel order right. All right, I guess it's not your birthday anymore, Steph. Sorry. <laughs> Just put it in. Cut. <laughs> of course, you know your boy won with two bagels crushed. I am still trying to get to that 165-pound weight goal of mine. I haven't weighed myself this entire week, so I'm going to have to do that as soon as I get back to the Optics Cup house tomorrow. But I'm going to watch the newest episode of House of Lies, wait for my pops, and then once he is here, we will jump back into the car, and then we will be heading to New York. It is official. My dog has turned my suitcase into a bed. Finally on the way, actually, we're taking a detour to my grandma's house. We have to escort the pups over here so you can hang out with my mom, my grandma, and them all since no one will be home. And then after that, we will finally get to New York and we will most likely, 100% actually, we're gonna hit traffic, it's gonna suck. Why on the last day that I'm here is the weather incredible? This makes no sense. See, if the weather was like this the entire time, I would have rented a bike on the first day, but no. It's, of course, the last day, which means, hopefully, Chicago should be filled with a ton of great weather so then I can start these motor vlogs again. Because I got the new GoPro, and I got to put it to use. Yes, I'm Portuguese. That's what he was speaking. I showed you guys my high school. This is my elementary middle school right here. Pre-K to 8th grade. Oh, yeah. I got a great memory, Thea. Great, great memory. Of course, we gotta go to New York in style. I wasn't gonna let us drive a minivan there. So, of course, you know, I went out, rented a cool ass call from my dad to whip around. Check this out. Oh, yeah, the six, the Mazda six, baby. I'm just kidding. It's my high school car. I didn't go out and rent anything. Clowns. Thank you. 
Welcome. Beard status update. We have returned to the realm of God beards, baby. We got that Sopranos flow right here, boys. Gotta know about shortcuts in New York, or before you get actually into New York. We're at the Holland Tunnel. We gotta go through this to get to New York, and there is a huge line of traffic, so we're gonna wrap around. We're gonna take a left, go around that building, and then come up up in the front. Cheat code. Game one is Empire Strongholds. We are certainly down 45 to 0. There is about 9 minutes and 30 seconds left. Plenty of time to make a comeback. Alright, three and four, we have numbers here. We're gonna take advantage. Shield, no picture shield. Yeah, yeah, Plus for Aaron. Definitely work better together. Currently down 60 to 0, 8 minutes and 50 seconds left. Again, we have numbers. It's a 3 and 4, not a 3 and 3. Alright, uh, we got 2v3. Alright, they're up 70 to 0 with 8 minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Still plenty of time to make a little comeback. We just need a 2 cap and from there. If we can get a 3 cap, that comeback is easily possible. Brett, we need you not to mumble like that. When I'm on the call, I'm not going to have you mumble like that. That will annoy me, and I'm going to hype your ass up. Uh, yeah, we're currently in traffic, so that's why we're watching the car, by the way, just for anyone wondering. Lost game one, 100 to 0. Empire Strongholds currently in game number two. Plaza Team Slayer. We are blue team. We did not get the opening OV. And that's sniping, and that's sniping. A lot of individual play right now. I'm not seeing too much teamwork. Can you please not right now, 18 wheeler. Score currently is 5 8 in their favor. Still early in the game, 6 8. And then now, looks like we're getting some sort of control. Teamwork is being used finally. We're getting control of Ness. Ace is making plays as 4. We are down by 1 now. Nice try, Aaron. Straight stick has snipe. We have about three guys around. We have everyone in blue right now, so we should be able to get a pick before before anything has. We should actually be able to get the lead here. Oh, we should be able to pop up like in ten seconds. Ovi Aaron, Ovi, you get eyes on it? Uh, Alright, they got the time now, 51. Yes, if I was in the call with them, behind them, not here in New York, we would have got that Ovi, or we would have definitely been aware of it, as I was aware of it. We are also up by 2, 14-12. 
9 minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Got him. Watch out for his loop spawn as well. One shot. All right, now we're pulling away. It looks like we are up 18 to 12. Nick is being nerdy over here in Tram, causing a lot of havoc. It's a lot of ace to pick up a nice, easy kill. We got about 40 seconds until the next overshield, so it's time that everyone starts setting up and putting themselves in spots in the map that if they die one more time by accident that they have a uh, a good position to allow a team spawns to put themselves in a spot to get the OV or fight for it. There gets Hot Dill, oh, he's got 51, 51. Nice, we got it. This is the play right here. We're also by 2, 26, 24. With overshield, we should be able to go up by like eight kills here without without not giving up too many too many deaths. In my opinion, we should only give up one or two deaths until that overshield player does die. And the exact opposite happened, unfortunately. We're now currently down 31 to 28. Seven minutes remaining in the game. And of course, my battery is going to die. Makes no sense. Yep, my camera died once again, but this time, upon further investigation, I did finally check my battery because I had an hour of footage that I recorded today and then it decided to die after that. And I know my camera usually goes for an hour, 32 hours. I looked at the battery and it is not my original battery. It is one of the weaker batteries that I traded either with either Maniac or Bose. So when I get back to the house, I do have to get my original battery. Then I just have to buy a shit ton of batteries so this never happens again. Can we take the time to talk about this fucking new team's resilience? It is insane. They go down 2-0 in the series, go into game number three, Fadden Flag, go down 2-0. One of the players at Renegades lags out. They have to restart the game. Now, upon restart, Renegades has to cap one more flag, and we have to cap three. Within four minutes and 50 seconds, we end the game. We get three straight flag caps and don't allow them to get one. We came out firing, and it was at that point I knew we were about to steamroll Renegades for the rest of the series. We go into game number four, Eden Strongholds, and yes, we did start shaky and it got really close at the end but we clutched it up and were able to win 100 to 95 there were some notes I definitely took down that I can't wait to bring back to the guys but they played it amazing for how much they were actually down in that game to actually you know come out on top and then tie the series 2-2 moving along we got game number five which was team slayer on the rig I thought this was going to be the end of the series I thought the entire time it was a best of five so I knew we had to win this game in order to move on or that is what I thought. Now, I won't lie to you guys. Team Slayer in the rig, even when I was on the team, was definitely one of our weakest game modes. Thankfully, today, it was not going to be as weak as I thought it was going to be. Uh, it got shaky towards the end when it was 48 to 44. They started getting some kills to close up the gap, but straight sick and Ace clutched it up. Ace actually ended up killing Ninja for the last kill. He kind of made one of your typical Ninja plays, got super aggressive, put himself in a spot to uh, basically not have anywhere to run away and have his teammates to help, so Ace was able Able to finish him up. As soon as I saw that 50 kill, I went straight to Twitter. I gave the boys my congratulations. I said, hey guys, congrats. We're heading to Cali. We'll see you guys next week. Good job today. Let me tell you, I was mistaken. It was a best of seven, so people started saying, Flame, you're going to jinx them, dude. What are you doing? I ended up turning off the stream because it finally made it to my aunt's house, walked in the building. Once we were inside, I finally went back to my Twitter and I saw everyone telling me, hey man, it's a best
best of seven. Don't jinx him. Delete your tweet. Delete your tweet. Deleted my tweet, even though I knew the boys were going to clutch up. As soon as I went back to the Twitch app to watch Ace, homie was running in the last flag cap, which was game number six, Truth CTF, and the boys clutched up. We will be going to the Summerland next week in Burbank, California, ran by ESL, and homie, I am excited. You've all seen me in the Twitch streams. I've been getting hyped. I've been getting excited. A lot of people are like, damn, Flame actually looks and seems and is talking like he is super hyped to coach them. And that's no bullshit, man. The uh, resilience they've shown in the three days of them playing as a team together has just impressed the living fuck out of me. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I am super excited to be behind these guys. I can't wait to go to California with them. I can't wait to get back to the Optic Scuff House tomorrow to finally join TeamSpeak, Skype, Discord, whatever they're freaking using and just jump in some scrims and kind of get, you know, some flow rhythm for myself to understand how to work well with them being the coach. So I'm hyped. I know a lot of you all are hyped. Nick's been getting 7K viewers. Ace is getting a shit ton of viewers. Straight Six getting a ton of viewers. When Native decides to start streaming again, I'm sure his entire uh, fan base will be there as well supporting. So thank you all for the support you guys have been showing. It has been unreal. But... I do have to get this clothes into my suitcase. Like I said, I do leave tomorrow, so I do have to get all this stuff done. Uh, pretty much what you guys missed since my camera died was me just speaking Portuguese as much uh, that I know with my family. And I've basically just seen the elderly of my family. A lot of them are uh, at the uh, old age. I still have two grandmothers that are alive, 78 and 88. So basically was just, you know, visiting them, saying hello, seeing how they're doing for how, you know, well they could still communicate at a uh, set age. My grandma at 78 is still, thankfully, in the mind, still all there. Uh, my dad's mother could be better, but she's still alive. She still recognizes me from time to time, even with this crazy beard and me not always being home, which is cool. So my time here in Jersey was spent well. It was awesome. We got California next week. After that, I go to Mexico. I'm gonna try to get as much content within these next two weeks built up so that if I don't have good internet connection over there in Mexico, then there is video content coming out while I am gone. I will still record on Mountain Mexico, uh, but for the most part, it is a buddy's birthday, so it is going to realistically be vacation. I am going to be drinking. I am going to be having a good time and just enjoying myself and finally just kicking back and relax. And I know that we are going to place into the Pro League next week, so I'm excited to have that vacation right after. But if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. So this is your boy Flamester. I'll see you guys tomorrow back at the Optic Scuff House. Peace.